everybody and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jess and today's video is going to be a makeup inventory update. Now, if you guys would have seen recently on my YouTube channel, I have decluttered my collection recently slash been unpacking and organising it into my new creative desk that I'm sat at, at the moment. I don't have pictures of all the products, like sometimes I do do pictures, sometimes I don't. However, these numbers have changed by a lot and I don't think I've decluttered a lot of makeup so I generally think that that has come from using products up and just not I've not been purchasing makeup to be honest so I feel like this kind of increase is this decrease has generally come from me using and finishing up products and just not repurchasing it's been super super interesting to see this change because I didn't think these numbers would be this different in all honesty like I I honestly thought that these numbers would be pretty similar at the same level but clearly i thought wrong so let's jump straight on into my categories i am thinking of downsizing some of these categories coming towards the next update in december but i will see how i feel about that because it could be a bit confusing with the numbers so my first category has always been brow gel and i have one at the moment and i still currently have one it's the elf brow gel although that is pretty much running out on me now so I will need to either repurchase or purchase a different brow gel at some point soon. I'm happy with one. The next category is brow powder. In December I had two and I now have one. Um, I think I had the e.l.f. one as well as the revolution one in December and I decluttered the e.l.f. one. I'm happy with just one. Brow powder does take a very 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 long time to go through and the revolution pro one works well for me so I'm probably not going to change that anytime soon. For brow pomade slash cushions I've had zero for the last three updates so this is probably going to be a category that I take out now. I don't have any interest in buying a new brow pomade or a brow cushion. I think they're great value for money but for me I just prefer to do my eyebrows and have them look a little bit softer with um brow powder or just brow gel primer in december i had one and i now have two i have two because i'm counting my ready set prime spray as a primer because i have been i use it as a primer so that kind of just makes sense to me um yes i believe i used up a primer from the previous one and I think to be fair, one of my goals was to try more primers out. And to be honest, I haven't really tried more primers out. I just got myself a primer spray because I didn't read the packaging and I thought it was going to be a setting spray. So that was like an accidental purchase. This category, I wouldn't be upset if it increased, but I wouldn't want it to increase that much. And I think I'd rather just use one up and then buy a new primer to try. And that's kind of, I think, the rhythm that I'm going to try and stick to. Foundations, I had nine in December and I now currently have five. I think I decluttered one um which was the doll 10 foundation um but the rest of those i have used up i've used up three foundations so that is pretty good i'm really really proud of that and yeah that category is definitely downsized by quite a lot feelers i had eight in december and i now have six i think i've used up one which is one of the revlon revlon photo ready candy concealers and then i decluttered the doll 10 one because it absolutely reeked and I was like, that's not going on my face. <laughs> Color correctors, I had zero in December. I have zero now. This is another category that I think I'm going to take out. I don't really have any interest in color correctors. And if I did, I think I would only have one anyway. And I'd be kind of happy with that either way. For powder foundations, I had one in December. I now still have one. That's my Laura Geller one. Um, I'm kind of like indifferent. I do enjoy using that as like a, I kind of use it as a finishing powder and less of a foundation powder because it is quite glowy. However, I do really enjoy it and I don't see myself decluttering it anytime soon. Powders, I had four in December. I now have three. I'm really happy with that number. All three are loose powders. They're just the version of powder that I prefer personally. So yeah, I think I've used up two powders. Is that right? Or have I only used up one this year? I don't know. Clearly it's only one by the numbers, but I thought I'd finished two, but maybe not. Setting spray, I had one in December. I now have one. There's a different setting spray, but it is just one setting spray. I kind of just like having one. And this one that I am using, the e.l.f. one, I brought it on Soph's recommendation on YouTube. And she was like, I wore this and I slept on my makeup and nothing budged. And I would agree, my makeup has not been budging. The next category was cream slash liquid blushes. I had three in December and I now have one. The one that's left standing is the milk makeup. I believe I decluttered one and I finished the other for powder blush i had seven i now have six i think i just decluttered a revolution one recently because it was exactly the same as an annabelle cosmetics one that i have for blush palettes i had four i now have three i decluttered the revolution one and i kept all three of my tarte blush palettes 
For cream bronzers slash contour, I had one in December. I now still have that one. That's the one that is currently in my project pan. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, by the end of the year, it will be finished, but we will see. For powder bronzers, I had six. I don't even remember having six. I now have three, so I've halved that category. For bronzers slash contour palettes, I had three in December and I now only have one. Um, if you guys watched my makeup on the chicken block, you will see that I decluttered one um there and then i also got rid of the elf palette in my most recent declutter so that leaves one and that's the one in my project pan the cream product palette as well which i've been loving and it's in my project pan so it will eventually get used the next category is cream slash liquid highlighters i have zero i had none in december i have none now i keep saying that i really want to repurchase one but at this moment in time i'm really not that sure i don't see the necessity in purchasing one however if i did come across one that i really really wanted i would allow myself to buy it for powder highlighters i had seven and i now have six this is a big category change this is one of the ones i'm super shocked at myself for highlighter palettes i had four in december and i now have zero for face palettes i classify face palettes this category as being like a face palette that has bronzer blush and highlighter in um, and I only have one of those, that's my sleep palette, which again is currently in my project pan and I'm really enjoying using it at the moment. This is another massive category change for me, eyeshadow palettes. Now in December I had 30, I had 33 eyeshadow palettes and I am now sat at 23 eyeshadow palettes and I am so proud of myself for that. I think I said in my last update for this that I felt super, super, super overwhelmed with my eyeshadow palette collection i feel really really good about that i feel good i feel good about that number and yeah i think i said in my declutter i don't want that i don't really want this category of eyeshadow palettes to go up higher than 25 just because i feel like you know 33 was way too much 30 still felt a bit too much so kind of like 25 feels like the sweet spot that's like the max that i would like to have single shadows i had one single eyeshadow and i now have zero um, for liquid and cream eyeshadows, I had one and I now have zero. And then the big, big decrease is glitters and pigments. I had six in December and I now have a total of zero. Um, I was very, very cutthroat with all of my single kind of eyeshadows and glitters and things um, this past year because I kind of noticed that even if I have a glitter or a pigment or a single eyeshadow in that colour, I will always look through my palettes to find the colour that I want and I kind of just like zoom in on the palette and that's kind of like the way that I've been feeling for the last little bit with these things in my collection is although I love them and I love to look at them and I think they're really pretty the actual amount of time that I wear it on my face is like one every year like once every year liquid eyeliners i had two in december i believe they were both black in december um and now i have four i'm really really happy with that amount i know it's gone up but i'm super happy about it i've got one black one blue one purple one pink the pink one is a potted one from mac but i'm counting that as a liquid eyeliner for pencil eyeliners i had zero in december and i now have two i'm really happy with that again i think i mentioned that i wanted to have a couple in my collection particularly a blue pencil liner i now have a blue pencil liner and i have a black one for tight lining and one for my waterline so i really enjoy those two and i do get a lot of use out of them so i feel really good about that category again for eyeshadow sticks or shadow sticks i had zero and i still have zero this is another category that i think i'm going to be getting rid of in this spreadsheet i just don't see myself choosing to have another eyeshadow stick anytime soon for glitter slash stamp eyeliners i had zero i now have zero again i don't think this category would go up at any point maybe at christmas i might be tempted to buy like a glitter eyeliner for mascaras i had nine um last year in december and i now have four that feels so 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 manageable i have two full size and two minis so it's not even like i have four full size mascaras i just have two full size and two minis one is a brown mascara one is a tubing mascara and then my two minis 
are actually really great. I've got them layered on my eyelashes today and I've been really enjoying them. They don't smudge, they don't flake, which is really great. These lashes, I had two. I now still have two, as you guys would have seen in the cutter video. I haven't worn false lashes, but I generally don't wear false lashes unless it's a super, super special occasion um, or my mascara just really isn't giving me what I want for like a night out or a date night or something like that. But I generally don't really wear eyelashes that often i just find them a bit of a faff and they also irritate my eyes lip liners i had two and i now still have two i'm still in the same kind of thought process with my lip liners however that i do need to just have a whole kind of collection refresh with them i have two nudes for chubby lip pencils i had one i now have none yeah <laughs> i don't know i got rid of that in my recent cutter for liquid slash cream lips, so liquid lipsticks and then cream lip products, I had four in December. I'm not even sure which four I had, to be honest, but I now have one. I just don't wear liquid lipstick that often. Lip glosses, I had 10 in December and I now have eight. And I believe both of those were used up lip glosses. If I'm remembering correctly that I could be wrong with that, but I know definitely one of them was. For lip balm, I kind of have stopped counting lip balm. So this category is probably going to come out completely um of this grid so i had two and i now still have two and if you guys have been following my makeup inventory then you'll know that since july of last year i've had two it's because i've pretty much well this year i'm not really counting but i'm not going to run around the house and go through all of my bags and try and find which ones have lip balms in like don't get me wrong i buy a packet of lip balm and i feel like i buy a packet of lip balm like every three months but they either go missing or they're like in bags so i never actually have one to grab hold of so yeah i do i i definitely have one in my bag that i have now like the backpack that i'm using most right now and i have one on my bedside table that's like kind of what i'm leaving it at just lip tint slash tinted lip balms i had three and i now have two i think i got rid of one Oh, when did I get rid of one? I'm not sure, but I did, I think I decluttered one. I don't think I used it up. Next category is lip toppers. I had two, I still have two. They're the same two. The next category hasn't gone down by like loads, but to me it feels like such an accomplishment. And that is my lipstick category. I had 12 and I now have nine. So it's gone down by three. I don't think I got rid of any lipsticks in the declutter, did I? Now at the moment that we've probably all been waiting for, or that I've been waiting to tell you guys about, is that is the total column now i have it like totaled in my excel spreadsheet like it's got a formula on it that just adds it automatically in december last year i had 153 products in my makeup collection i now have and this is crazy and i feel like something's wrong with my spreadsheet but it is right from what i know i now have 103 products in my collection the difference between last it from december to now is minus 50 products there has been a downsize in my collection of 50 products that is insane to me and also i'm so proud of myself because i believe that most of that was done by project planning i lot i did declutter a fair amount but i didn't declutter 50 products i think it's probably about a 50 50 split if not then a little bit less i think it's so easy to get caught up in collecting things and being like such a consumer about things and i can't really talk that much about this because i generally buy a lot of books and i would say that books is probably my new kind of brought into thing um however with books i kind of display them i give them out to people i reread them one thing that i used to do a lot a couple of years ago is i used to just watch my favorite youtubers my beauty uh, like that i watch on youtube that my favorite creators that did makeup and things like that and i would just buy things that they recommend without looking at do they have a similar skin type to me? Do they have a similar preference? Do they have similar likes and dislikes based on products that I've already tried in my collection or tried in the past or have had other or have tried from other people? Do they actually have things in common with me for me to justify buying this product? Or would it actually not suit me, but it suits them really nicely and I'm happy for them? And I feel like I really kind of do that now. And I think, do you know, what, actually, is this for me? Is this suitable for my skin type is it sort of for my life like full coverage foundations don't get me wrong they have their place and i i love it like i love seeing other people do their makeup like that however for me i have one full coverage foundation in my collection and i generally don't need another one i don't wear full coverage foundation anymore i wear light to medium coverage and i just if i want more coverage i'll just use a buildable concealer or a build or i'll just build up the foundation let me know in the comments below if you guys track your collection sizes and if you're kind of feeling in a similar way to me where you don't want to keep collecting loads and loads and overwhelming yourself um or if you're the complete opposite and you love having a big collection because it gives you so much freedom to choose from 
then please let me know in the comments below. I look forward to hearing you guys' thoughts and opinions. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. I'll see more videos from me and I'll catch you guys all in my next one. Bye!